you guys doing? I am, of course, as usual, super bubbly today, but I'm also super hungry and I can't wait to get this video started because I'm here with my best friend again. HelloFresh! I'm so excited that I get to try out HelloFresh for the second time. This is my second video with them and it's actually super convenient because I really needed it this week. As you guys know, I'm going to Cuba really, really soon and I just don't have time really to be honest with you this week to kind of focus on food and grocery shopping. So I actually thought it was quite perfect because I'm gonna prepare something today with you guys and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is. If you guys don't know about HelloFresh, they are a meal delivery company. So convenient. I love their service when you are just crazy busy and you don't have time to really plan out your meals or cook your meals and you also don't have to go grocery shopping at the end of the day. I have three meal sets inside of there that I chose from their classic menu. They have three different types of plans that you guys can choose from. Classic, vegetarian, and family. It's so exciting when it comes to your door, you guys. I can't even tell you, when you see that box with that green logo, you're just like, you saved my life. So if you guys are like me and you guys don't like to commit all the time to using the subscription, you don't have to. You can stop and pause the subscription at any time. All of their recipes are super easy to make and they actually don't require that much cleaning. So if you guys do decide to try them out, you guys can get $30 off your very first week with HelloFresh. Make sure you guys use my link down below and also don't forget to use my discount code, stephmacedo30. The first thing that you are gonna get over here is your step-by-step -step booklet. Um, How good does this look? Sticky miso pork. Okay, I might do this today. So with this booklet over here they make it so easy and they tell you step by step how to make each individual recipe um, they have three recipes every single week three different ones of course so that you guys don't get bored it comes just like this all of your three packaged meals all of your meats come at the bottom over here and these are actually packs of ice they are freezing cold they keep all of your meats nice and fresh I think the winner is the spicy miso pork how pretty does this look like just looking in the viewfinder right now it just looks so pretty how cute is it that they label every single ingredient and package it separately and it's just so nice because they already give you the portion that you need for the exact recipe everything is already pre-measured for you and that just makes it even more easier to use this as well I'm gonna wash up all these produce over here the peppers and everything and then we're gonna get started I have just put on some gloves here you guys because Amy told me when she used the ginger she said that she literally had her hands smelling like ginger for the longest time so i'm actually going to be a step ahead thank you very much sis so it says we're going to mince the garlic over here so i'm just going to cut it up garlic is the same thing it will make your hands smell really really bad if you don't put on gloves garlic is my best friend so that is our garlic over there and then it says peel and mince one tablespoon of ginger i've actually never cut up ginger before in my entire life how weird is that we are going to chop up our pork. We are just going to cut it in little cubes. It already comes in strips, but we are gonna cut it into cubes. And I'm gonna put it into this dish over here. I actually have not had pork in a long time in like a dish like this. So I'm actually really excited. It says to add all of my miso in here. This smells so good. I don't know what is in here. Let's get it all in there. Then our soy blend. I'm just gonna put that all in there. Our vinegar inside of there, half the ginger. And then it also says half the garlic. Then it says to add two teaspoons of sugar. I'm actually gonna skip this step. You can kind of adjust the recipes to kind of fit you. I'm gonna stir everything up. How good is this? I've actually never done anything like this before. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're gonna get our rice going over here. It says to add a cup and a half of water. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. It says a tablespoon of oil. I'm not gonna put a tablespoon of oil. I'm just gonna use my Pam olive oil. And then it says to add the remaining garlic and the remaining ginger inside of this pot. To be honest with you guys, I added the water in a little bit too soon, but you know why? This is because I'm so used to making my rice like this. So now I'm just gonna add my rice in. So now we're gonna cover this up and wait until it comes to a boil. The next thing we did is chopped up all of our veggies. I cubed up all of my peppers and I thinly sliced my green onion and then I have here my chili. And now we're just gonna cook these guys up while my rice is kind of cooking over here. We're gonna remove our veggies right now because they are so nicely cooked, look at that. Now we have our pork cooking up. I am so starving and I cannot wait to have this. I can just smell it, it is so fragrant, you guys. And our rice, look at our rice. 
It is done and it looks so good. Once the pork is cooked, it's said to add the veggies all back inside of there, mix it all up. These flavors are just kind of marrying with each other right now. It's so good. And then we are gonna plate it up. So some people think that the recipes are high in calorie, but let's not forget that not everybody that's ordering these meals are on a deficit. What you have to do, every meal to be honest with you can be high calorie, any meal can. You have to design it and kind of adjust it and customize it to fit you. So for example, there's way more rice in this, but I just have here a one cup measuring cup that I have put rice inside of and I know that that's my portion that I'm gonna be having today and then when it comes to the meat mixture of course I'm not gonna have all of this I'm only gonna have a portion of it and what I suggest is use one of these spoons so that you can get the juice and everything from the meat mixture add our portion over top okay how good does this look I am so happy that this is done because I am starving and if you really are like me and you like your sauces you're just gonna add a little bit more sauce over top like that hello hello fresh thank you for this meal look how delicious this looks let's do the taste test together I want to get everything in one bite like I want everything that's not enough oh. I'm tasting savory I'm tasting sweet I'm tasting salty I taste the miso, I taste the soy sauce, and then I'm getting the crunchiness from the veggie. I'm getting like different textures. I love different textures in food. I am a sucker for that. Mmm. Do you guys want to sit here and watch me eat? I can keep eating. I love when a plate has meat, veggies, a good sauce, and then some rice at the bottom. That's what I love. And that's why I kind of chose this meal. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna put the camera at the most unattractive view that you can possibly put it at right now. Me and food have like this, like we're married. We just have this long lifetime relationship with each other. The problem is I think the food does more for me than I do for it. It is Tuesday, you guys, and I think for breakfast, I want these pancakes. I have been obsessed with these Birch Benders pancakes. I did a what I eat in a day with them and I featured these. If you guys haven't watched it, I will leave a link up above. Like, look at that, that's all that's left. I've actually only done a third of a cup that's inside of here. But you guys can put dark chocolate chips inside or like milk chocolate chips if you wanted to. And thank goodness my mom left me a little piece of banana over here. I've been loving this coffee. The Nescafe Gold, this is actually, I think would have to be my new favorite. It's a little bit more strong. Of course, with instant coffee, they taste a lot more weak. And to be honest with you, I'm fine with doing instant coffee, so I don't really care. I love coffee in general. It's more of like a richer, stronger sort of taste. So if you guys want to try this out and you guys use instant coffee, but you want something a little bit more rich, make sure you guys try this one because I absolutely love it. Look at our pinky over here. I want to make it light on both sides. I don't want to make it too dark. Ooh, look at that even color. I've actually never done that before. I'm such a sucker for this Aunt Jemima. And yes, there is a pool of it inside of here. I like to slice the bananas super, super thin. You guys can put any fruit that you love over top. I've done blueberries inside of the pancakes as well. And basically, this means it's going to be a great morning as soon as I got this guy. Why does my voice sound like deeper? I think it's because it's the morning. I put on my Saint Tropez bronzing lotion, which I absolutely love. But every time I do that, I'm like, do I just leave like everything blank? Do I not put any mascara? But right now I have a little bit of highlighter and a little bit of mascara. But I feel like the mascara just kind of like adds something. Do you guys see what's in the background there? I'm going to show you guys. What's in my luggage for Cuba? I'm not really 100% ready, to be honest with you. I just think that this is like super funny. I noticed, tell me if I'm wrong. I noticed that people in the U.S. say suitcase. will say, oh, my suitcase. Or do you guys say luggage too? Even when I was looking up on YouTube, people said suitcase and I have never referred to my luggage as a suitcase in my entire life. Is it a European thing to say suitcase? I'm not really sure. A connection in Cuba with my phone. I'm with Rogers, you guys. When I called him about New York, I was so happy because I have like a room like home package. So you only pay $7 a day when I'm out in New York City, which was awesome. Like my pillow fort over there. Like there's like a mix of like my filming pillows and then like the pillow I actually lay on when I'm just like chilling He said is there anywhere else you're gonna be traveling to and I said funny enough I'm gonna be going to Cuba because when you call us back for that We're not gonna have a plan for that and I was like yeah I realized because they used to before and I used to buy it with them It was like $60 before and now they don't have none when I heard that I assumed that Everybody doesn't have a plan with them. Like I assumed, you know, the connection in Cuba is really bad. Internet in Cuba is really, really hard to come by. A few days ago, which I feel like it's a little bit too late if you now staff. I mean, I think it's cutting a little bit close. I looked it up and other providers do have packages to go to Cuba. And I'm like, 
like Rogers customer service is absolutely amazing they've always helped me with everything I've ever needed however internet with them I've had many many issues at home with them I'm open to like switching providers and switching plans with someone else Bell is one of the largest here or the largest here that we have and I've never like dealt with them before I called them and I'm like I heard you have a package with Cuba is this true you know even before I'm switching and she said yeah we do they charge you $12 a day in Cuba and you can use your room like home which is pretty amazing the thing is I'm leaving in a few days and I feel like this is a little bit last minute of me honestly thought if you know if Rogers didn't have it that probably means that nobody can get a connection in Cuba Rogers reasoning is that they don't have an agreement with the Cuban government I don't think I'm gonna be posting a video because I won't be able to answer your comments and I don't like that I don't like that I'm not available to answer comments that you guys are posting on my video that bothers me I know that Wi-Fi is available at the hotel that I'm going to and you obviously have to pay for it but whatever it is what it is but even then the connection is so hard to get but I just want to kind of let you know that during that time you probably won't hear too much from me you may or may not I'll be bringing this my Kate Spade uh, wristlet that I brought to New York especially for dinner it holds your phone which don't know if I'll be needing that but it holds your phone, it holds a couple of cards if you need to. And then I have this bag over here. I definitely will list a similar for you guys because I'm pretty sure this one's probably sold out. It was a while ago. This one you can carry your phone inside of here. Everything that I need to bring with me, if I want to bring my camera, I can put it in this one. I was searching for a big hat like Mama's. I found this one at Winners. It is the same color as my beach bag that I found. This beach bag I found at H&M. If I can link a similar or the exact same one, I will leave a link down below for you guys. I love this sort of straw beige sort of color on here. It has room for your phone, which is so cool. It has room for my iPod. These are so cute. So I got these bikinis from Amazon by Shikini. I actually have this exact same bikini in red right over here. I have a size small and I have like an A cup chest for those of you who are wondering. And then the bottom of me is more like a 6'8". This is the perfect, perfect hand color bikini if you guys are looking for one it's a little bit more on that beigey uh, greeny side and then the bottoms are just like this by the way this is the best style bikini that fits my body because my body's very very curvy and I'm really big on the bottom especially with my hips so I find that a lot of them they grab me on the bottom so I need to be able to have the freedom to kind of open these up and be able to tie them how I want to. When you turn around the back, it has like this little ruching detail along the butt. But this one is a yellow bikini. I got it in this beautiful banana yellow color. I tried on the yellow and it actually looks really, really good. I can't wait to be like super tan with this. I have to show you guys this top. It is so adorable. I got this at Old Navy. We got to the cash register. She said it was 50% off, so we got it for 13. I'm actually gonna mix and match with the red bikini that I got from Shikini. This one, I love the pattern. I felt like it was so tropical. I love this rich sort of aqua tone, this tur uh, turquoise sort of color. And then it has this really like magenta that pops out, a little bit of the yellow. This is the type of closure it has. If this is still available with Old Navy or something similar, I will leave a link down below. My red one over here is the same thing as the other Shikini ones. This one is a one piece that I got a while ago from Forever 21. I think this one will be sold out because this was from last summer. This one is an olive sort of halter um, one piece bodysuit and has like this cutout that goes along down the center. And then it has the accent of the gold. This one I have in a size medium from them. This one, I almost completely forgot that I had this one. This one is from Cup She. It's funny because it had like this crochet detail and like sort of wing on the sides up here. And over here, it had like this lace trim detail. I just chopped it all off, you guys, and I made it super, super basic. That's what it looks like. How cute is that? And then you kind of just tie it at the bottom with the strings. Again, it is a string bikini. It just has thicker straps on the side here. It definitely needs to be like this in order to really look good on me. I have this cover up from H&M that I got when I found my beach bag. It is the perfect, perfect, like rich, rich, deep yellow. And it's just like a very thin, sheer sort of material. I absolutely love this. This one is from Shein. It is a dress sort of cover up. I cannot wait to wear this with one of my bikinis. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to use it with the white one and I also might use it with the tan one as well. Then I just bought regular um, flip flops from Old Navy. Their flip flops are always the best. I got white. I didn't want black. I felt like the white would go with everything. And then this is my towel. I bring my own towel. My mom always tells me like every single time we go away, she's like, you know they give towels, right? I'm like, I know. But the thing is with those places is you have to rent their towels. You have to return them. You have to take them, bring them back. So I just bring my own towel. This one, I can't remember where I got it from, but I can try to find a similar for you guys. This side, of course, I have my day outfits. 
I brought, I believe, around four or five. I'm only going to be there for five days. You go to breakfast and you don't really like get all fancy during the day because right after breakfast, you kind of just go straight to the pool or straight to the beach. We're going to be at the beach. Like, let's just be real. The water in Cuba is just gorgeous. I actually got this jumper I want to show you guys from um, Urban Planet. It's just this really basic black jumper. It is so adorable and I love the fabric. You guys can dress it up or dress it down for breakfast. This is from Sirens. This olive sort of scrunchy top. You can actually pull these strings and make it a crop top all the way up to here. You can also wear this at nighttime for dinner and just pair it with like a skirt or a pair of shorts or something. This bodysuit I actually brought with me to New York. You guys might recognize it, but I didn't get to wear it. So I really, really want to wear it while I'm in Cuba. This one is a red top. You guys have probably seen it before. It is from Sirens. So super cute. Again, it's kind of like the green one where you can scrunch it up and make it a crop top. I, I know you guys did not forget about this guy from my um, one of my hauls that I did with Sirens. This, I wore this in the video and I said this is so like Havana, Cuba and just Cuba in general. I actually have a white skirt, so if I don't get to wear this for the day outfit, I can wear this at nighttime with a white skirt. My red halter sort of casual top as well, because you never know. I might want to go a little bit more plain and not want anything too funky. These are just high-waisted stretchy jeans and then they have cuffing at the bottom. Then I have these ones, the H&M ones. I didn't even get to wear these in New York City and I think I brought them with me. Then I have the black cotton shorts, which I absolutely love. And then I have my Daisy Dukes from Sirens. I actually wore these in New York. These are just the most comfortable. While you're there, like after dinner, you go around, you walk around, you might dance. So you need to wear something super comfortable. And then I brought also my Steve Madden, like lower wedges, because I don't want to be, you know, having my feet really, really kill me. And then over here, I have my white cover-up from Sirens that I absolutely love. My mom has always drilled it into my head that you have to bring a cover up no matter what. I bring my own sheets. I did this in New York as well, especially in Cuba. I mean, let me tell you something. I bring white because I need to be able to see any creepy crawlers come on here. There's a lot of cucaroaches there, okay? We don't need any chinches coming through. My friend taught me what a chinche meant. I can't. So I bring my own pillowcase and my own sheets. Like, girl, I'm sorry, but I'm not trying to get bit by no no spider or no nothing, okay? My dressy outfits are in here. My dinner outfits. I brought here a black sort of... It's not really a crop top, but it's just kind of like a tank from Forever 21. Then I got my tan bodysuit, the one that I wore in New York. I'm sorry, I can't. Like, I just I cannot get over this bodysuit. I absolutely love this. I will leave a link down below. Make sure you guys check this out because it is so, so cute. And you don't even have to wear a bra with it. Then I'm bringing my striped shorts that I got from Shein. I think I'm going to do like an all black look with this. I'm going to do the black shorts and then the black tank top. Then I'm bringing this lace um, cami that you guys have seen me wear, I'm pretty sure, before. But I tried it on for you guys in a clothing haul. This is going to be so super cute if I wear it with this white, white, white skirt. This white skirt is from Forever 21. It is a mini skirt and it kind of just wraps over just like that, just like a crossover. And then I have the black dress that I actually did not get to wear in New York City, but I brought it with me. It's the one from Sirens with like the ruffle at the top. Funny enough, not too much color at nighttime, but I think I want to keep it classy. I think during the day, I want to keep it a little bit more bright and fun, but like I got to go back to my neutral tones. I'm resting this on top of my luggage right now. That was a fail. I'm doing it again because I'm so stubborn. Hey, see, you can make it work, you know? You can always make it work. Oh, my airport photo, y'all already know. Mama is gonna take my airport photo, okay? And like, we have all day there to just take photos, so. But I think I'm gonna wear like a light, I found this sweater that I've been looking for for the longest time. It's like this very light, taupe, sandy sort of, um, just a zip up sweater to be honest with you. It's stuff, it's nothing special. It'll be interesting to see how my mom is while I'm vlogging. She's black and white like me. She's either down for it or she's like, I don't want to be in the vlog, you know? I have a feeling she's going to be like, I'm relaxing. I don't want to be in it. But I just, you just never know with the sag. I'm being honest with you guys. You just never know with them. Dad is just, he's just cool as a cucumber. Dad is just a cool guy. Calm and cool. He's a sag too. When me and my dad and my mom go out to breakfast, me and my dad are just like chatting away about like politics and about what's going on in the world, or we'll talk about design, because my dad is a carpenter. My mom will literally be sitting there and be like, 
anyways guys um like she's always the third wheel i'm not gonna lie because we just go on and on and on i think that's basically it for this vlog you guys i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes next time